discuss about the recursive descent parser and in this parser uh, i'm going to explain you some basic assumptions which we have and accordingly i'm going to explain how you uh, know we parse through this parser okay so the topic is recursive descent parser recursive descent parser okay and in this recursive descent parser we use a recursive pro stack or you can say we use the help of recursive programming to parse a given uh, string or you can say parse a given expression okay and these are the as assumptions if any grammar contain left recursion then uh, left most derivation or recursive descent parser reach to an infinite loop if any grammar if any grammar contain left recursion left recursion then lmd that is left most derivation or the recursive descent parser recursive descent parser descent parser reach to infinite loop it it will reach to an infinite loop that means we cannot use uh, left uh, recursion uh, in this uh, recursive descent parser so that means at least we need a grammar which should be right recursive okay and uh, next is uh, it use lmd uh, it uses left most derivation to derive a particular string that is why we don't allow left recursion third one is this parser will give go to infinite loop if the given grammar contain left recursion that is given by this above point only a lot of time is wasted in backtracking here we are going to use lots of time is wasted in backtracking in back tracking and the fourth point it it uses internally stack it uses stack internal stack or you can say it uses int stack to perform uh, the parsing and the fourth fifth point is it will take 2 raised to power n time order of 2 raised to power n time complexity in worst case time complexity in worst case okay don't worry i'll i'll do one thing i'll explain it to you with a simple example i'll take a simple algorithm first and then i'm i'll take an improvised or you can say some changed version of that particular algorithm okay so you can write write down these points and let me explain to you what is the algorithm so uh, you can see the algorithm is like this um, here uh, the function a that is we are going to call the function and then we are going to choose a production that is uh, from all the production x1 x2 x3 x4 up to so on we are going to choose a production if that xi if that production xi is a non terminal then we are going to call that particular variable else we are if this xi is matching a look ahead simple then we are going to increment the input pointer and then we are going to perform a back otherwise uh, we'll say there's an error and we'll do backtracking write this uh, complete pseudocode and then let me explain to you how this pseudocode is actually working uh, this is a generalized format of pseudocode generalized format that means i'm generalizing it for all the algorithms but still uh, for a given particular given grammar we can write a backtracking okay we can write a uh, recursive descent parser okay write it down pause the video write it down and let me explain it to you again assuming that we are having the following grammar e can derive i e dash and e dash can derive plus i e dash slash epsilon now we got this grammar by converting a left recursive grammar to a right recursive grammar we already seen this example in the previous videos okay now for this grammar we have to write a left recursive parser and uh, let me explain it to you for this production for every single production for example we have the production e for this production we are going to write a function e like this there's a function e which is if the look ahead symbol l is equal to i that means if the look ahead symbol is equal to this i then we are going to match i match i and we are going to call e dash because this is the next symbol is e dash if look at symbol is i then we are going to match i then we are going to call e dash this is for the uh, production the for the first production now for the second production this e dash so we are going to call e dash in this manner if the look ahead symbol l 
is equal to plus why because the first symbol here is plus which is a terminal we are going to match this plus then we have the next symbol which is i which is also a terminal so we are going to match this i and then we are going to call this e dash function again that means there is a recursive call here else we are going to return else we are going to return ok and we are going to call these two functions from the main function from the main function main because e is a start symbol we are going to call e if the look ahead symbol is equal to dollar then we can say the successful parsing then we can say return successful or can say turn parsing successful parsing successful okay we can write something like this and when i'm saying this match function the match function looks something like this match on uh, character t on some character t if the look ahead symbol is equal to t then we are going to take look ahead symbol uh, is equal to get char the next symbol and then else we are going to print f error so this is representing the function for recursive descent parser and let me explain to you how it is related to the previous function uh, even though i'm writing three different functions for uh, these productions and let me explain to you how it is working assuming that we are want to parse the string i plus i that means we want to say whether this grammar is generating the string i plus i so when you give this i plus i as input so it is going to end with a dollar okay now we are going to call with the first first symbol which is i okay for this purposes we are going to call in the main function we will start up program execution always start from the main function we are going to call this function e so we will come back to here and we will see what is the first function when i am saying l this l means we are ju just doing get character the definition of l is like this l is equal to get character so we are going to take the first character which is i now you can see this i as if i is equal to this l is equal to i that means if this symbol is matching yes uh, it is matching so we will call the match function to check whether it is matching or not if it is matching yes it is matching with the first production which is i then we are going to call e dash right so uh, we are going to call e dash so we will go back go to this function ok so after this see when we match it when we match it we uh, go to the look ahead symbol we go to the match function and we increment this pointer we increment this pointer you can see you can see if, if it is matches then we get the character otherwise we return the error so if it is matching obviously then we are going to call e dash and again in e dash we are going to check the second character which is plus so you can see the second character is plus and yes plus is matching hence if plus is matching then we are going to match i the next symbol is i yes the next symbol is i and then we are going to call e dash again so recursively we are going to call this particular function ok now in this same function uh, after the doing this if uh, the next symbol is dollar and dollar is not matching with plus we are going to return it so we are going to return it and we will return to the previous function and because this function has executed all the statements so it is going to return back to the main function and you can see if the next look ahead symbol is dollar that means the entire string is present so it is passed ok so see there is nothing special in this what we are doing is for any given production we are writing a recursive program for next production we are writing a recursive program and why i am writing a recursive program because there is a right recursion which is involved if there is no right recursion is involved then obviously we don't have to write this one and because uh, because there is always recursion is involved therefore it is also called as recursive descent parser and in the recursive descent parser in this case in the worst case we are going to have total two raised to power n recursive calls in worst case okay i hope you understand this one uh, the no uh, I, don't, I don't think so a lot of questions asked from this parser but just for coverage purposes that's just for covering this i'm covering this one okay but uh, you can go back to the previous case the previous algorithm here what we are doing taking that means for any production uh, we are going to take all the possibilities like if we have a production like this s can derive a b c d e slash b c d e slash c d e slash d e now here in this case you can see this lot of uh, you know uh, record this lot of uh, you know factoring is involved factoring on you can say i should say uh, we already covered this one 
uh, in this particular given grammar i told you that there are something called as left factoring so here there's a lot of left factoring is involved either you have to remove the left factoring and you know a is equal to a like this b is defined like this c is defined like small c d is defined like small d and e is defined like small e right so first of all you have to remove left factoring from this grammar because i told you that in case of uh, recursive descent parser we don't allow the left factoring okay so we have to convert this entire convert this entire grammar uh, and we have to remove the left factoring after removing the left factoring we can see we have production like s derives a b c d e slash a b c d slash a b c now you can easily implement this particular uh, function on this okay so just for simplicity just i'm telling you that whether uh, whether you have a particular grammar like this s derives c a d something